children, my name's Emma. Let's start our letters and sounds lesson and learn to read some new words. Let's read some phonemes you already know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. This grapheme has three sounds. It can say y in words like yes, e in words like happy, and i in words like fly. Now, can you remember the different ways of saying this grapheme? Yes, it says e and e. Eh. How about this one? Yes, it says s and z. And this one? Yes, or and er. Uh. Now it's your turn. Remember those different ways of saying those graphemes. Are you ready? Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. Y and E and I. E and E. S and Z. O and E. Ch. E. E. O. O. Well done. Now I'm going to mix them up. Are you ready? You're going to read the graphemes on the cards aloud again. Are you ready? Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. Y, E and I. E and E. S and Z. O. E. O. O and E. Ch. E. Well done. Super sounds. Now, let's read some words with graphemes we already know. Can you spot the digraphs? Two letters, one sound. Yes, the digraphs are here and here. Read each sound as I point, then blend and read the word. Arch, arch. We stood under the arch of the bridge. Fabulous. Now, can you spot the digraphs in this word? Yes, the digraphs are here and here. Read each sound, then blend. M R CH March. Can you march like a soldier? Fabulous marching, everyone. Well done. Okay. Now, can you spot the digraphs in this word? Yes, the digraphs are here, here, and here. Read each sound, then blend. Ch, e, z, cheese. I love a cheese and pickle sandwich for lunch. Now, how about this word? Can you see the digraph in this one? Yes, the digraph is er. Uh. Read each sound, then blend. W, er, uh, m, mm, worm. Wriggly worms are good for the garden, just like this one. Can you see the digraphs here? Yes, the digraphs are here, here, and here. 
read each sound, then blend. Or, f, a, author. An author is someone who writes books. Okay, you ready for our last word? Can you see the digraphs in this one? Yes, the digraphs are d and ng. Now read each sound, then blend. It's a longer word, so we'll chunk it up. P, u, d, pud, i, ng, ing, pudding. Sometimes we have apple crumble for pudding. Oh, look at this apple crumble. It looks so yummy, doesn't it? Fabulous. Well done with your reading. Now, I'm going to mix these words up. Do you think you can read the words on the cards, but without sounding out? Let's have a go, shall we? Off you go. Let's check. Read them with me. March. Pudding. Cheese. Worm. Author. Arch. Amazing children. Now let's learn a new grapheme for the phoneme ch. 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 Copy me. Ch. Let's sound talk some words with the phoneme ch. Copy me. Put your hand under your chin and say kitchen. Each time you feel your hand go down, it's a syllable. Kitchen. That's two syllables. Copy me. Say the sounds, then blend the sounds to say the word. K, i, ki, ch, e, n, chen. K, i, ki, ch, e, N Chen, your turn. K I Ch E N, kitchen. But we say kitchen. I like making cakes in my kitchen. Looks just a bit like this one. Fabulous. Let's try another. Copy me. Say the sounds and blend the sounds to say the word. K A Ch, K A Ch, your turn. Watch me throw this ball up and catch it. Not bad, eh? Now, let's sound talk our final word. Copy me. Say the sounds, then blend the sounds to say the word. F-E-C-H. F-E-C-H. Your turn. F-E-C-H. Fetch. If I throw a stick for my dog, he will run and fetch it. Now we know the sound ch is written like this. Today we are learning that ch can also look like this. Let's read the new grapheme for ch. Say the sound ch each time I show you the trigraph ch. Remember trigraph, three letters, one sound. Well done. Great reading of ch. Now, let's read some words with our new grapheme for the phoneme ch. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word. Now let's read the word together. K, a, ch, catch. A ball is easy to catch, especially when it's nice and soft. Did you get it right? Well done. Now, how about this one? Read each grapheme, then blend to read the word aloud. Let's read it together. F, E, Ch, Fetch. It started raining, so I went back indoors to fetch my umbrella. OK, sound out and blend. This is a longer word, so let's chunk it up.
Now let's read the word together. K I K Ch E N Chen Kitchen. But we say kitchen. If you want to do some cooking, the best place is the kitchen. Okay, you ready for this one? Off you go. Now let's read the word together. I ch e itchy. Did you get it right? <gasps> Can you scratch as if you are itchy? <gasps> well done. Good scratching. Now, how about this last word? You ready? Let's read the word together. M a ch match. Here are two socks that clearly don't match. Well done, everyone. Great reading. Now I'm going to mix these words up. Can you read the words on the cards without sounding out? You ready? Off you go. Now let's check. Read them with me. Fetch. Kitchen. Itchy. Match. Catch. Incredible children. Well done. Now let's read some tricky words we've read before. Now you know how to read this tricky word. Can you remember the tricky bit? Yes, the tricky bit is here because this says air. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. V, air, there. Yes, the word is there. Now let's practice reading another one. You've read this one before as well. Can you remember the tricky bit? Yes, this bit says e. Can you read the word? Well done. Let's read it together. P, e, all people. Okay, now let's read them quickly. I want you to read them aloud. You ready? Off you go. Now let's read them together. There. People. Well done, children. Did you get those right? I bet you did. Now let's read a sentence with graphemes we already know. Now, can you see any words with digraphs or trigraphs? Remember, digraphs are two letters, one sound, and trigraphs are three letters, but one sound. Yes, these words have digraphs. A, D, and ng. And then this word has a trigraph, ch. Now, I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember to sound out any words you are not sure of. Excellent reading. Now let's read the sentence together. Read with me as I point to the words. May I fetch the pudding? Well done. Let's read it one more time again. May I fetch the pudding. Oh, I wonder if the pudding was apple crumble. Hmm, or maybe it was chocolate pudding. Which would you prefer? I think I'd rather it was apple crumble. Wow, children, super reading today. So now time for some super spelling. Because if you can read a word, then you can have a go at spelling it. You will need your paper and something to write with now. Let's spell two words with our new graphene. Let's spell catch. Segment the sounds with me. Catch, k, a, ch. Let's count how many sounds there are. K, a, ch. That's three sounds. Watch me write catch with three sounds. K, a. is a trigraph. Three letters, one sound. So I need to write three letters. Catch. K-A-C-H. Catch. Let's hide
hide the word. Now you have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Don't forget the trigraph. Three letters, one sound. Okay, have you got your three sounds written down? Fabulous. Let's check our spelling. Show me your spelling. Did you get it right? K -a -ch catch. Well done. Let's try another one. Let's spell fetch. Segment the sounds with me. Fetch. F -e -ch. Let's count how many sounds there are. F -e -ch. That's three sounds. Watch me write fetch. I need three sounds. F -e -ch is a trigraph. Three letters, one sound. So I need to write three letters. Fetch. F-e-ch. Fetch. Okay, going to hide the word. Ready? Now it's your turn. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Okay, are you ready? Should we check our spelling? Show me your spelling. Did you get it right? F -e -ch. Fetch. Brilliant. Now, let's have a go at spelling a tricky word. We've spelt the word people before. Let's practice spelling it again. Segment the sounds with me. People, p, e, p, o. Let's count how many sounds there are. P, e, p, o. That's four sounds. Can you remember the tricky bit? Yes, the second bit is tricky. The letters e and o say e. Watch me write people. That's easy. The E sound is written with the letters E and O. P is easy as well. O is a digraph at the end. P -e -p -o. Now, let's hide the word. You have a go now. Say the word. Say the sounds. Can you remember the tricky bit? Remember the letters E and O. Say E. Write it down. Well done. Are you ready to check our spelling? Oh, well done. Right, you show me your spelling. Did you get it right? P -e -p -o. People. Well done, children. You've been brilliant today. You worked so hard practicing reading and spelling. See you soon for another lesson with letters and sounds.